All right, guys. In my last video, I talked about the 12 inch ProDub telescope from Omegon. It's my uh, main telescope that I currently use and I have done some improvements to it so that it's more manageable and I can get a better viewing experience with it. In today's video, I'm going to go over five tweaks I've made in um, order to give you guys um, some ideas of how to improve your own telescopes. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Hi, I'm Bogdan Damian and if you're new to my channel, I like to talk about astronomy equipment. I like to review eyepieces, telescopes and telescope accessories in order to give you guys a better overview and to help you with your purchase decision. I also like to tinker with my equipment and improve it in any way I can. So if you're looking for this type of information, then make sure to subscribe and also hit the bell icon in order to get a notification every time I upload a new video. Before we begin, I would like to mention that I'm going to put a link into the description below for every item I'm going to show in this video. So make sure to check it out. All right, so the first improvement I've made to this telescope was to add four swivel caster wheels. Given the weight of about 40 kilograms for the telescope, adding these small wheels helped tremendously when it came to moving it around. If you own a Dobson telescope with an aperture greater than eight inches, I can only recommend adding wheels to the base. You can get a set of four of Amazon for a price as low as 15 bucks. Just make sure that they have a diameter of at least 30 millimeters or one and a quarter inches so you can roll over small bumps and also have a safety locking so you can secure your telescope in place. The wheels should also support the weight of your telescope, so pay attention to the weight rating of the wheels. Next is the guiding knob. I know it, it seems a little obvious, but I'll talk about it anyway, since it's so easy to add to your telescope and can be such a great improvement. Most Opsonians don't come with any type of knobs or handles for guiding, and adding one will make your viewing experience much more pleasant. I've added a simple kitchen drawer knob made out of aluminum by unscrewing one of the screws that hold the metal sheet for the telescope tube in place. The screw that this knob came with fitted perfectly, so I did not have to do any type of changes to the telescope tube. Next, I would like to mention the collimation screws for the primary and the secondary mirror. For the primary mirror, this telescope already came with collimation and fixing thumb screws, but my old Dobson did not have any and I needed to purchase them separately. So if you own a Skywatcher Dobsonian telescope, then you will need M5 thumb screws with a length of 16 millimeters. Since most components that go into a telescope for a given aperture size are very similar across the brands, it's safe to assume that the same screws will also work for other telescopes from other brands. The secondary mirror also uses three thumb screws for collimation. The correct size is M4 with a 30 mm length. The same thumb screws you see here were first used on my old 8 inch Skywatcher telescope, so they should fit on most Opsonians. While researching for ways to improve my telescope, I came across an interesting video from the Memphis Astronomical Society where they um, talked about an interesting so-called dead love eyepiece shade. And I like the idea so much that I've built one for myself. So shout out to them for their nice video about improving your telescope. Um, I'm going to put a link to their video in the description below. A dead love eyepiece shade is designed to block unwanted light sources when viewing through the eyepiece. It's easy to construct using a plastic lid, some vinyl wrap or paint, and a couple of thin foam mats. Just cut a hole large enough for the focuser to fit through and glue the foam all around the lid's edges and you are all set. For me, it's especially useful as I observe the night sky from my backyard and there are two street lights nearby. Being able to block these unwanted light sources is a great improvement for my viewing experience. As a last DIY improvement you can make for your telescope, I would like to mention a special type of material called black velour flocking material. You see, the inside walls of your telescope are painted dark gray and this dark color does already a good job of um, absorbing light, unwanted light inside your telescope. 
However, if you want to minimize um, the amount of light that is reflected from the walls inside your telescope, then flocking your telescope might be a good idea. Depending on the size of your telescope, you will need a few sheets of this material and you'll need to apply it on the inside of your telescope tube. This material is darker than the paint used for the inside walls of your telescope and it will absorb much more from the scattered unwanted light, thus improving the contrast of the views. Applying this black velour material is tedious work, but in my opinion, it's worth it. I've done this improvement for my old 8-inch Dobsonian and I'm planning on doing it on my current 12-inch Dobson telescope as well. All right, that's been it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and also subscribe to my channel. If you have questions or feedback, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. All right, catch you guys next time.